Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to write a Java program to find the reverse of a given number. So first, uh, we will try to understand the logic of this particular program. Later, we will write the program. Let us assume that uh, initially we will set the reverse is equal to 0 and the number is equal to 123. That is uh, the reverse of this 123 we want to find out. So what we do is uh, we will repeat these three steps uh, again and again in this case. So first we will calculate uh, the remainder of this particular number so that I will get this particular 3 out of it. That is uh, number mod 10 we will get 3 here. Next what we do is uh, we will add this particular remainder to reverse multiplied by 10. The reverse is 0 initially so 0 multiplied by 10 is 0. So 0 plus 3 is equal to 3. So the reverse we will get is 3 in this case. And then number is 123, 123 divided by 10, that is 12 in this case. So the new number is equal to 12 here. Now we will go back and then we will find out the remainder of this particular number. So remainder of this number is 2 here. So once we get this 2, we will add this particular 2 to reverse multiplied by 10. So reverse is 3 multiplied by 10 is 30, 30 plus 2 is equal to 32 we will get here. And then uh, this number is 12 in the previous iteration. So 12 divided by 10 is equal to 1 we will get. We will go back and then 1 mod 10 we will calculate. The remainder is 1 here. Reverse multiplied by 10 that is reverse is 32. Multiplied by 10 is 320 plus remainder that is 1 which is equal to 321. 1 this is 1 here. Mod uh, divided by 10 that is 1 divided by 10 is equal to 0. That is number is equal to 0. So once we get this number is equal to 0, we will stop here. Uh, we will get the reverse in this particular REV at the end of the day. So this is a simple process uh, we need to follow to find the reverse of a given number. So we will try to convert this particular logic into code here. So first uh, we will take some local variables. Let us say that uh, REV is equal to 0. And then uh, we need to read a number. So I will take one variable called as NUM. I want to store this particular uh, number into some original or you can say temporary variable. I will take it as a ORG in this case. I will tell you why it is required at the later stage. Uh, one more variable is required I think that is a remainder. So we are going to calculate this remainder in every iteration. So I will take one more variable here. Now uh, we will create an object of uh, scanner class as usual because uh, I want to read uh, something from the keyboard or a number from the keyboard so scanner in is equal to new scanner we will pass one parameter to this one that is system dot in in this case now uh, we will get an error because we have not imported the uh, util library so i will click on this one i will click on java dot util so you will get that particular uh, library imported over here now uh, we will give a very simple message to the user like uh, system dot out dot println like uh, enter a number that's the number to be reversed that is what the number he has to enter uh, here we will store that particular number into num that is num is equal to in dot next int in this case so uh, whatever the number the user will enter that will be stored into num now so now we have already set the reverse is equal to 0, NUM is equal to, we have read it. Now we have to apply this particular logic. So this particular thing to be repeated unless and until this number becomes 0. So what we do is uh, we will add a very simple uh, looping statement here that is while NUM is greater than 0, what we need to do is uh, we have to perform these things things that is uh, rem is equal to num mod 10 that's the first thing second one is uh, rev is equal to rev multiplied by 10 plus rem that is second step uh, third step is num is equal to num divided by 10 in this case that is the third step now uh, this will be repeated again and again unless and until this num will become 0. Once it becomes 0, it will uh, come out of this particular loop here. So once you come out of this particular loop, the reverse is available in uh, REV. We can print that particular number. Now I will print uh, that particular reverse that is uh, system dot out dot println the 
रिवर्स ऑफ इफ आई राइट एन यू एम हियर आई थिंक एन यू एम हैज बिकम जीरो हियर सो बिफोर दैट ओनली आई हैव टू स्टोर इट इन सम अदर वेरिएबल आई हैव टेकन ओ आर जी आई विल स्टोर दैट पर्टिकुलर नम इन टू ओ आर जी नम आई विल प्रिंट द रिवर्स ऑफ ओ आर जी यू कैन से दैट ईज अरीफी नो आई थिंक दिस विल वर्क परफेक्टली फाइन द रिवर्स ऑफ ओ आर जी दैट इज वट एवर द ओरिजिनल नंबर इज देर इज the reverse so that will be printed here so this is how actually we can write a program to find uh, the reverse of a given number now we will check it out whether it is working fine or not so i will right click on this particular tab run as java application click on okay it will ask you to enter a number here definitely uh i will enter 1 2 3 and then i will press enter here now you can see the reverse of 1 2 3 is 321 in this case similarly if you want to try for other number you can try it run one more time now i will enter a number 1 2 3 4 5 5 and then i will press enter here you can see here the reverse of 1 2 3 4 5 is 5 4 3 2 1 in this case so this is a very simple program uh, to find the reverse of a given number I hope the program is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.